Hey everybody, what's up? With you, Smalt from CGAlter.com. Today, I'm answering a question that I got from Darko. Darko is a new friend at CGAlter, and he asked the following question. How do I make use of multi-mat object ID pass when I cannot select them using the 32-bit images? Darko, I'm gonna show you a better way to create a mask. So, let's go ahead and get started. But also, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to work with mask inside of Photoshop. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's switch to Photoshop, so, shall we? All right, Darko, so here we go in 3Ds Max. Let's create those uh, masks. Um, so I'm gonna leave the perfect mask to the end. So um, V-Ray Material ID, in order for it to work, there's a trick. So if I hit render right now, so, okay. So if I go to that pass, to the V-Ray Material ID, as you can see, we have nothing. Um, and same things for the V-Ray Object ID. We have really nothing. So how to make it work? So for the, for the first pass, the V-Ray material ID to work, you need to go to the material, for example, the blue here on this teapot, and we need to go to the options, and we need to enable the override material effect, and uh, you put number one, for example. So this will be on, on, the, on the first, on the, you know, the first ID. And the same thing goes for the other material. So I'm gonna go to the red, activate it. It's already made, so yeah. I was preparing those before I started the video. So um, override material effect, three. So I have one, two, and three, okay? If I hit render right now, it's going to work. So if I go to the pass, as you can see, it's working, all right? But we have a problem. Before we address that problem, let's go and make the very object ID work out as well. So, um, in order for the, the V-Ray object ID to work, we need to um, we need to give it ID, object ID this time. So just right click on the object and go here and select from the G buffer object ID one, for example. This teapot, the green one, or maybe the blue. So that we have red, blue, green. So um, I'm gonna set it to two and the green to three, okay? So if I had, I hit render, um, hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> so I'm going to switch to the object ID and as you can see, everything is working pretty fine. So we have the masks, but as, you, as I said earlier, we have a problem here. As you can see, we have those jaggy colors on the edges, really jaggy. This is not um, a perfect selection. Now there is a trick. There's another trick. So if you go to the material ID, for example, if you scroll down, you're going to find it, the output type from integer no AA. A means anti-aliasing. So V-Ray does not apply any anti-aliasing on the edges here in this selection. So if I go in and say color with AA with um, anti-aliasing and the same thing here and I hit re-render, both paths are going to be um, clean. But even with that, with my experience, if I use those passes um, in Photoshop, it doesn't give me um, it doesn't give me, uh, you know, perfect selection, especially on the edges. So let me show you the perfect way to create a selection in V-Ray, and then we'll compare it to this one. So as you can see, this is really dull, and it's not, it doesn't look like neat linear color. But anyways, so let's add the third and the awesome multi-mat element. So the multi-mat element, it's just, it creates like just, pixel to pixel perfect selection. So I'm gonna hit um, and uh, okay, and then I'm gonna rename it, rename it to masks. Okay, so I can, so this one, this V-Ray um, multi-mat uh, multi element works like the object ID. So all you need to do is just to give it, to give the object on the scene like um, from the object properties an ID and then the same ID you copy to the channel. So if I have this one like uh, 30, I'm gonna put 30 here on the red channel. So when I go to Photoshop on the, the red channel, I'm gonna find that object uh, ID, 30, okay? So um, let's, um, let's make them work. So if I hit render now, and I switch to the masks, So just pay attention to the to the end here. It's like there's this 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 um, 
you know, it's, it's like this one has more range. That's why it does. I, I have no idea, actually. Anyways, it's just this one is really just perfect. And this is the one that I use. All right, so let's uh, let's go to Photoshop in order to answer your question, which is how to use the channels, those channels, and um, in a 32-bit canvas. So let's go to Photoshop. All right, Darko. So here we go in Photoshop. So now let's use this. Let's use those channels to create masks. So I'm gonna work with this um, this pass, the multi. Uh, the multi-element pass from V-Ray, and uh, I'm gonna leave you to to use the other ones if you if you feel that that they're great. So um, uh, the same way is going to be applied actually to those to the other passes just by accessing the channels. So let's say for example that I want to access the teapot here in order to make adjustments to my to my picture right here. So all I need to do is just to click on the pass and go to the channels. Uh, usually you can find them here. Uh, it just this is the layer that I use for post production, um, so I'm gonna hit I'm gonna pick the red channel. You know, uh, let me just explain a little bit. So we have three channels here. We have the red, the blue, and the green. So in order to access this one, we need to pick just the red channel. So I'm gonna click on the red channel, um, hit Control and click once, and I can go back now to the R to the RGB. I can select for example this one and I have my selection and this is a perfect selection so let's say for example that I want to I want to just change a little bit the exposure just saying um, as you can see once I create an adjustment layer it automatically added that selection as a mask so now if I go to the exposure and I increase the exposure a little bit I'm affecting only that area so this is how you use selection in order to um, in a 32-bit um, environment because and this is one of the problem of Photoshop actually is that we can't use this tool in order to um, it's not supported in order to make selections so this is the way that you you create those there is another way to do the same thing so I need to do for example like I want to I want the, the green um, and uh, all I all you need to do is just control a and do control C to copy um, you go back to the, your RGB, but let's say this time that I want to isolate the uh, this object right here from the other scene. So I want to delete everything except for the blue teapot here. So I'm just going to click. I'm just going to click on Add Mask, go back to the channels and paste the mask. And as you can see, it did apply it to. Uh, it did apply. You know the. Um, the black is equal to zero, so it's going to be deleted, and the white is kept because um, it's equal to one. Okay, um, it's just math. Uh, so now I can go back to the RGB. I can deselect this channel, and um, having just the teapot isolated. So this is how you do it, Darko, and I hope that um, that answered your question. Um, so uh, yeah, that wrapped up the video, and I hope to see you soon with another video. You take care, and um, talk soon.